Those are my braces. That's attractive. Hey guys! I am doing another video because, well, I do have a YouTube channel, so it's kind of a mandatory thing now. Came back from field hockey, so that explains the t-shirt and the ugly hair. I'm going to do a braces video. I filmed a braces video already, but I was sitting next to a fan because my room is like a desert. It's like the Sahara Desert. It's horrible. Um, and I was sitting next to a fan, and it made a lot of noise, so it sounded like I was in a windstorm, and so I figured, like, you guys wouldn't really like that, so I'm just refilming it. So this is my handy little braces bag. This is what you get when you get your braces. I just got them on the bottom, as you saw in my few other videos before this one. Um, close up. So that was my bottom braces. I got orange for the first time, and it's a little stinky. Uh, so, inside this wonderful handy little bag, which by the way, they don't put like Advil or Tylenol in it, you're going to need it, like, a lot. I'm not going to lie right now, braces do hurt a little bit. When you put them on, all you really feel is like poking a little bit, and you don't really feel like tightening or anything, um, and so it's not that bad. Um, they have to like adjust the wires and like it gets pokey on your cheeks but it's not that bad it just feels like a little bit of yeah anyway I can't explain but get a little bit pokey and then once you get home just immediately take an Advil or actually a better idea is to take it before you even get the braces because it takes 30 minutes to start working so when you get home you're not gonna feel really any achiness or anything just take an Advil um, anyway because it's just gonna mask the pain for a little bit longer so then make sure you stay on top of it though so instead of waiting till it starts to hurt again just take it every six hours so that you can just keep going and so that you don't um, like feel as much pain that's what I did I mean I still felt a little bit of pain like I couldn't eat sandwiches I had to like cut up like applesauce I can't really cut up applesauce but if I was to cut up like something hard that might help a little bit but I ate a lot of applesauce some soup pasta was good um, it's a little hard to chew with them the first day because my teeth don't meet in the back anymore they just like mm. it just <laughs> it doesn't work because I'm not a medical professional so I would just go with whatever your orthodontist tells you to do don't just listen to me I mean I'm helpful like so in this handy bag it says braces survival kit and I'm not gonna I'm gonna cut it off right there because that has the address of the place on it and I don't want you people stalking me while I'm getting my braces done so inside the bag you get two postcards get this one and this one is about problem foods and helpful tips and then it opens up Whee! and then it just shows you a bunch of different foods that you need to stay away from so for instance they have a giant apple right there because you don't want to bite into an apple with your new braces because it can be really bad for your braces and it can break off brackets and stuff um, like I have an overbite which means my front teeth go over my bottom teeth so he said it wouldn't be um, unlikely that I would bite off a bracket, but I haven't yet, and I, my next appointment is September 24th or something, so um, I don't think I will between then, knock on wood. Um, then you want to stay away from gum. I mean, I still do, but the really annoying part is it just gets stuck in your braces. That's the only thing. Um, soda, you're supposed to stay away from just because... If you brush your teeth, it's fine, but if you, like, forget to brush your teeth or something, it can really, like, decay around your teeth because of all the sugar and, like, around the braces, and you can get, like, yellow marks, or it's just, it's not that nice. Just put it that way. Um, caramel, definitely. It's so good. I'm gonna have problems staying away from it, but... So, this is getting a little long, but that's basically what it is. Um, and then you can't chew on your nails. I mean, I, I bit my nails before, but now they're getting so long because I can't bite them with braces. It's, like, impossible. 
So the next card is this one. It looks pretty much exactly the same. And this one is a really disgusting one. It's about brushing and flossing. It just, I mean, it's not really disgusting on this part, but it just shows you how to brush and how to floss. It's really simple. Um, your doctor or dentist will tell you how to brush and floss. I'm not going to go through it right here, but you just have to stick the floss through your braces and just go like that. Um, and then in the back, it's kind of disgusting. Like, it shows what happens if you don't, like... I'm going to scare you, and I'm going to scare you right now. Ready? Tooth decay. It's disgusting. So just brush your teeth. Please, oh lord, brush your teeth. So this one is just another disgusting one, which I'm going to scare you once again with that beautiful picture of that wonderful woman's teeth. Or man, I don't know. Be someone, like, okay, I think it's a male. Like, I can just tell. So anyway, that's just showing you to scare you what happens if you don't brush your teeth. So just please, please brush your teeth. Oh, this is handy. Wax. <laughs> Who would have thought? You get a bunch of strips of wax. And with this wax, you can take a little piece of it, roll it up into a ball, and press it on a bracket if the bracket is, like, getting onto your cheeks. But your cheeks eventually do get um, thicker and, like, so they don't get scratched up as much. Like, all the way in the back, like the one right here, used to bother me so much. But now, it doesn't really bother me because I'm just used to it. You can't eat with it in, though, because it just comes out. And it's really annoying because it gets in your food. And then you accidentally swallow it. And then it tastes really bad. And it's this whole deal. So just remember to take them out before you eat. Then they give you some toothpaste. Just some simple crisp toothpaste. This is like mint. Um, nothing interesting about that. Um, these are handy little tools. I just dropped it, but you get a bunch of these, and these you stick the floss through this little hole, and then you stick it up through your bracket, and then just floss normally so that you can get some flossing done. So you get a bunch of those, and reuse these, because you don't have a lot. Anyway, so the next thing in your bag is floss. I got two of these, one of them's mint, one of them's regular. I only use the mint one because I don't like the taste of the regular one, even though it has no taste. It's like water. I don't like water because I don't like the taste of it, but it has a taste. Then you get a toothbrush. If you don't want to know what this is, you seriously have something wrong. Uh, then, oh, my favorite. This tool is going to be your life. It's literally the coolest thing ever. This is like a little mini brush, right? It's going to focus. You better focus, camera. Move it. Like that, what's... It's just, you could, endless fun. Or brackets. And you can get out, like, all the nasty stuff. Tortillas are disgusting. They get stuck all in your brackets. It's disgusting. And I always have tortillas for lunch because I have, like, um, ham and uh, cheese and lettuce on a tortilla. And it's so bad. So I bring this to school and I just go in the bathroom and I go, ch -ch -ch -ch, and then I'm back to it. So. So that's what's inside the bag. So my advice to you for braces is to stay calm. It's not that bad. And if you do need, end up needing like extra things, just go back to the dentist and just ask them, hey, can I have some more wax? Or hey, can I have some more floss? But most of the stuff you can also just get at the store. Um, and again, I'm not a medical pro professional, so please don't rely on me for your medical problems. Even if I want to be a doctor, which I don't. Just don't. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you stay a little bit more calm or just learn a little bit more about braces. And it's really not that bad. I mean, I said it did hurt, and it does hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but it's not. I'm not going to lie, but um, it's not that bad. So you guys just stay calm, and it's. I thought it was going to be way worse than it is. And after, like, two days, the pain goes away. So, you know, it's fine. And... In the long shot, it's better because you get better teeth and a better smile and you just feel more comfortable with yourself. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful because I found it helpful for me to watch other videos like this. So thank you very much and see you in my next video. Bye!